You see it, you know it. His work instantly identifies itself, the dazzling colors swirling from his palette, with forms lyrically emerging from the color field, and his worldly subjects, sports, music, Broadway, yachts, food, drink, gambling, women, animals, celebrities, native cultures, with each day offering fresh inspiration for the indefatigable artist, Leroy Neiman. It's a commission from a guy out in California that wants a, a life-size savage tiger. I'm doing a friendly tiger. Leroy Neiman is one of our most popular living artists with work in galleries and museums around the world. He's painted prolifically in this Manhattan studio for the past 45 years. His life is his art, and his art is his life. around in the interview, that's good, thank you. If the art world came in here, you know, with the microphone, and said, okay, we need a sound bite from Leroy Neiman to describe his work, how do you describe your own work? That's all, it's just me. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a result of uh, what I, my experience, what I've seen, what I've responded to. The thing you gotta do is go where you're strong. You gotta go through all these, all these, this process of self-criticism. The whole, the whole creative process is self-criticism. You gotta make it better, you gotta change it. What did you have internally as an internal component that led to this longevity and success? It's a life. It's a life, that's all. It's all you, that's what you do. Leroy attended the Art Institute of Chicago where he also teaches. He began his career sketching Chicago nightlife. His subjects have grown to include surfers, dancers, politicians, bands, artists, dictators, showgirls, and beyond. And in the process, his life and work have been inspired by his own subjects. You've painted some of the most notable, successful, powerful people in the world. Cite a couple who left something with you. Ali, he had to come through. He made it, he put it in such a way where he had to do what he bragged about. And there was something about that quality that uh, he, drew, he, he, he revved himself up. And then he'd, and he'd perform, he'd do it. Is there an element of that in Leroy Neiman, that just carrying on, continuing to do what you say you're going to do? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta tell yourself, you gotta, you gotta do it, that's all. Leroy has witnessed and painted many historic public spectacles, and one vivid memory includes JFK and Marilyn. I think my most salvageable painting hangs in Madison Square Garden of the uh, Jack Kennedy's birthday party, and Marilyn Monroe is, is, she came in on an elephant, she was singing to him. What do you remember about Marilyn Monroe that night? Her body, not her voice. <laughs> but she had a regular kind of a fishnet uh, gown on, and shimmering with sequins or something like that. One of the things Leroy believes is it's never too late in life to start sketching. So with that in mind, I made this portrait of you. What do you think, Leroy? It's a decent effort, a decent effort. It shows promise. Now, for God's sake, don't give up your day job. Oh, I got it. Okay, well, with that in mind, this is Bill Boggs with Leroy Neiman at his studio in New York for my generation. And I thank you. My pleasure, Bill. <laughs> hey, wait a second. I forgot to ask him about the inspiration for that mustache. Was it Salvador Dali? What do you think?